welcome friends i hope that you're enjoying this study um on learning how to be firm in in god and being a uh, fixed being steady in every situation of our lives and today i just want to touch upon some values some principles that will also give us steadiness in our lives you know, no matter which season we're going through you know we can find an, an anchor through these attitudes or if you want to call it uh, um, the character through this this characteristic that we can uh, imbibe uh, within ourselves uh, we see that the word of god calls us uh, as ambassadors of christ in second corinthians 5:20 that's what we've been called we are now representatives of the lord jesus and as we consider the person of the lord jesus and as we consider the nature of god we understand that he is a god of integrity and integrity simply means saying the truth and living the truth and jesus called himself the truth no he was not just speaking the truth he said i am the way the life and the truth uh, and so we understand that god uh, is the same thing inside and out and god does not speak one thing and do something else but you know god uh, is the same when you consider his word his will and his deeds now that is integrity and we as god's people are called to be representatives of the nature of god which means we must also be people of integrity now when we are people of integrity you know that will give us a a firm standing there are um several scriptures there are principles in god's word that encourage us to be people of truth in fact uh, one uh, scripture says that he who walks with integrity walks securely uh, and we see the life examples of different men and women uh, in scripture and we see that those who did the right thing even though they went through some storms here and there uh towards the end of of uh, um you know their their lifetime or you know the end of the events we uh, see that god came through for them you know daniel is a wonderful example who stood up for what is right and he continued to uh, speak the speak what he believed and uh, no he he did not have double standards he was a man of integrity though uh, there were uh accusations that came against him you know at one point he was put into the lions den but we see that god himself came for his rescue and god also granted him great favor with the king that he worked for uh, and so you know god uh, will fight for us when we are people of integrity another example is the life of joseph we see that at a time when uh, nobody would have noticed his sin uh, he still stood up for the right thing and he did not sin against his master he did not in fact sin against god and that's what joseph says he says that i cannot sin against god so people of integrity are people who view every action uh, as uh, something that is accountable to god and so um friends as believers in the lord jesus uh, i want to encourage us you know let let us grow in integrity because that is the nature of god and that is the character of god and we as his children are supposed to represent him fully and represent him well let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that lord your word is our anchor father uh, when we walk in the truth of your word it sets us free god and lord it gives us a good and a firm standing lord i pray that you will help us be people of integrity lord every work of the flesh every carnal effort Lord let let that be broken off of us Lord help us Father God to be firm in the truth and to be firm in integrity in Jesus name we ask this amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org